Let's jump Total War here, and today we're going to learn saving your disaster campaigns, playing Rome Total War Barbarian Invasion as the Western Roman Empire. This one's gone to shit. So, we haven't been doing a whole lot of historical Total War videos lately. I've noticed uh, my catalog has it's been mostly Warhammer 2. So, part of the reason for that is most of the, the Saving a Disaster campaigns that are being emailed to me are now Warhammer 2 disaster campaigns. And a lot of the historical disaster campaigns are either modded campaigns, which I ask not for people to send, or just aren't disaster campaigns at all, just not good ones. And the best disasters are the Warhammer ones. So that's just the way it's been. Now this one's okay. I wouldn't say it's amazing, but it's it's been such a long time since I've done a historical one that I just wanted to try and get one in there. You know, for, for the historical fans, make sure you get something. Um, I haven't forgotten about you, it's just that I am subject to whatever's sent to me with this. Now, uh, it's fairly on, early on in the campaign here, and we have huge financial deficit, absolutely huge, absolutely giant. Uh, he's at war with the Eastern Roman Empire and, of course, the, the rebels. And basically every problem that could have arisen, have, a, have been here, that's what we have to deal with. Just got lots and lots of different problems. It's not just a case of, oh, uh, too many enemies or not enough settlements. No, it's it's everything. Religion's a problem. Money's a problem. His army composition's a problem. His characters are a problem. Diplomacy's a problem. It's all bad. So we'll just do a little bit of tidying up and try to get this under control. So financially speaking, you know, we got to try and get this under control. Uh, best way I think we can do that is to capture some settlements and exterminate them. So what I'm going to do here is merge them. Going to leave this guy behind here and you and make my way up to Avaricum actually uh, yeah Onward. no more moves sir imperator general hmm yeah make a way up here so we can attack that we may or may not win but we have to just do some ballsy moves no know, we don't have a choice and that's a that's a large city i think it's their capital, can't really tell. Over here... Um, just trying to decide how we're best going to go about this. How's this general? So he's shit. As, as far as command is concerned, he's terrible. Inferior infantry commander. Okay. So, we can't hold on to Britannia, I don't think. But what we can hope to do here is just, ex if we could exterminate Londinium, that'll give us some cash. That's all it's for right now. And then just demolish any buildings here, because we, we can't control it. Now, if I start a new campaign, you can control Britannia. But it's just not worth it right now. Better to control the mainland, where you don't have heaps of corruption. And we'll just come back here another time. Get everyone out and about. Now, in Rome Total War, having a good quality commander is more important than probably any other Total War game. Forget for me, Warhammer. Because units... Even, even good quality units on very high difficulty, which I believe this is on very high difficulty, have such poor morale, and the General's Command ability increases morale by so much that it, it, it really makes a big difference. So what we'll do here, we'll get the archers up, and we'll just get them to shoot at... Let's see... It might be better if I move them around the side, but the problem is they'll they'll just turn around to face us. We'll have the cavalry go and assist them. Some people were wondering why I didn't put Rome Total War's AI in the, the top 5 AI video. Rem Total War A's AI is fucking awful. One of the reasons that makes them difficult on very high difficulty is because they get massive amounts of cheats. Utterly ridiculous cheats. But, you know, it's very easy to break them despite those cheats. So, Medieval 2 did actually make a lot of improvements to the AI, but at the same time, doesn't give the AI uber cheats. Ooh, 
really want to be going for the Fodorati infantry, I think. There's a big problem with archers in Rem Total War. You give them an order to withdraw, and they just they just don't do that. They're really slow on the move. This is another reason why also high range archers are important. I'm just gonna miss out on that chance there. Shoot him in the back, that'd be ideal. Come, and then fall back there when they turn around, which they didn't. Shit. <laughs> Fuck, I screwed up there. I haven't played Rome Total War in a long time, and I've been playing so much Warhammer lately that I'm just used to that, that those controls. Ugh. I didn't need that as much. Sometimes playing other Total War games can make you really bad at the other ones. And uh, I don't really... I don't really care much for Rome Total War anymore. I mean, I do like it, but I just I play too much of it. Alright. Is it worth it? Probably not, not for the archer unit, but we got him. Stop. Ugh, used to be so much better at running to the wall. I just find doing this whole archer skirmish thing to be really user unfriendly. Oh shit. Um Alright, you get over here, we need to head back over there. Cause if nothing else, we need to run these guys down. Hold your ground until we get there. Good. Alright, we made a good start here. Another problem with this area here, and this is a situation that that really does piss me off. Win or, win or lose, it doesn't matter. It's it's it, We shouldn't be here in the first place. That's, that's the most annoying thing about this. Which you get that in saving disaster campaigns. I think some people look at battles and be like, all that's important is winning battles. No, it's not actually. Sometimes battles aren't worth fighting in the first place. Sometimes territories aren't worth fighting for. And in this situation here, Britannia is not worth fighting for. And I couldn't just disband all the forces. So I've got to, I gotta do something that I normally would not want to do in order to just make a quick buck. That's all we're trying to do here. Because you can't, can't sell them for ransom or anything, but it's just about getting to Londinium. So I want to do this quickly. It's hard to do it quickly and effectively at the same time. Damn, Sarmatian Auxilia are really good, but if they don't, they don't hold, that's a problem. This guy's such a shit commander. Alright, Bouncer Power's a lot better. I might just keep that out of it now. more important to shoot the limit tiny but at the same time we're just not doing any damage the bonuses that they get to to their uh, armor because of the difficulty makes it very difficult for us to pierce it whereas these guys here they got no shields General. 
Now, if we come out over here, they might send guys over here to attack. Which would be ideal. Or we could attack that right there. Charging into the uh, the photo artery infantry. If it was medieval 2, we could totally do that. But in Rome Total War, especially with such a shit general, that's not really going to work. We ended up losing too many men. Peasants are easy enough to break. We've got to get that Fodorati infantry. Very good, good. Nice big round here. This is good. Of course, we can utilize the routing units to, to break other units as well. in there but all these guys in the way there you can triple over them that wasn't a good charge Break him on the charge, we're gonna try again. Now, if you have a look at these units, right? Like one experience, you can really see how the difficulty rating gives them such a boost. If if this rolls were reversed, this would have totally just broken. Out tactically maneuver them, but we're the ones that, that lose the little, the little fight there. Like I said, the difficulty ratings fucked us there, because we don't have a good general. But we're still we're still on the fight. We haven't lost yet. I believe that Fodorati Infantry General there just would not break. It's like, it's not like they're good units, they're total trash. Nah, we can't, we can't get in there right now, we're just gonna have to take a quick break. Because our guys are just in the, in the, in the case of just constantly routing, so we just, just gotta give them a break. Hang on, hang on, we got, we got a situation over here. Stand together. Get rid of their numerical advantage. That's one of the reasons why they're they're sticking together as well. You can recharge them all they like, but if you've got ten men fighting against thousands, then it's not gonna break. Right, my guys need to have a bit of a rest. They're not letting us have that. I'd rather these guys don't make it back to Londinium, so run down any of them if you can. So 
says we have to rely very heavily on the general. Try to improve his fatigue, but you know, they just keep coming at us. Which isn't actually a bad thing if they're doing it one little unit at a time. All that's left is the general now. If he left the battlefield, he's wiped out, so if that's what he's planning on doing, he can go right ahead. I've killed 85% of them. The enemy that went alright. I mean, it was trash troops, but our army's trash as well. Victory! Good. That will that help him in future battles? Yeah, even just even it, well, one's not a whole lot, but every point, every point of command matters. And over here, there's two units. There's probably a general's bodyguard, if I had to guess. I'm going to send you, know, you here. You besiege. And let's see here. Can I leave behind just the Limitani? Ah, definitely not. Alright, well then just put on the highest tax bracket and then let's demolish all this shit. Because we're, we can't maintain public order here. Well, it's not worth maintaining it. Because we can't build anything. General. Better we redirect what small resources we've got down south. Onward. Okay, we can't see what they've got. So that'll, that'll take a turn or two to revolt, whatever. Okay, so that's that bit done. Got them heading over here. We need to lift this General. siege up this way. Bring you up to here, and then we'll sally out. Maybe the tables will do a lot of the damage for us. I was having a little bit of a, a bit of a look at the campaign before I started recording because it's a good idea to you know see what the issues are first so I'm not bumbling around. From what I could tell, most of his settlements are pagan, but his faction leader is Christian. So one thing that he really needed to do earlier on in the campaign is decide what religion he wanted to go as because you can go pagan or or Christian in this, it really doesn't enemy. matter that much. But you need to make a decision, you can't be like half-half. This game does not reward secularism. If they're just gonna keep their troops there, then that, that's good for us. Yeah, I got no problem with this. I'm not looking for an honorable fight, I just wanna get this fixed. So yeah, if you want to see more uh, historical Total War disasters, I really do re need you guys to send me more historical disasters, just let you know. And also, just to reiterate, because there's a lot of new new um, subscribers and everything, um, I don't really want any mods. You know, some people, a lot of people send me, you know, oh here's here's Rome Total War Darth mod or this obscure mod I've never heard of before. Uh, I only do SYDC campaigns on um, on vanilla. So there's pretty much no exception with that, and I don't re I don't do Empire Total War or Napoleon Total War disasters. I just don't want to play those games, and I'm not I'm not an expert at them, so I just, I just yeah I just don't want to do those. And as for Rome, yeah I don't want to do Rome two disasters. I'll do the odd Attila one every now and again, but I, so just to reiterate, no mods, no Attila. Uh, you can send Attila. Uh, no no Empire of Napoleon. Thrones of Britannia or Rome 2 disasters because I, I just don't want to play those games. Alright, start getting in a little bit over here.
They might just turn tail at once soon. That looks like just equities. Okay, if they're running away, zip off. Oh, the, the edge of the map's right here. We'll never get there in time. Because I've been noticing on my live streams as well, some people are starting to come on and complain that all I've been playing is Warhammer 2. Um, I mean, people are going to complain no matter what, so it's fine. But as it's, here's the thing, this, this is this is the conundrum of of the Total War YouTuber. If I play all the Total War games, okay, I can't enjoy all the Total War games because I just don't enjoy some of them. So people want me to play what I enjoy, but if I play all the historical Total War games, I'm not enjoying myself. People want me to. If people want me to enjoy myself, I play Warhammer 2 because I thoroughly enjoy Warhammer 2. But then they complain I'm I'm ignoring the historical um, fans. Can't win. Sir. The only way I could win is by lying. It's being like the third option: pretend that I like Empire, Total War, Napoleon, and Rome 2. Just pretend. Pretend like there aren't huge fucking problems with those games. Leave the peasants behind. I guess I'll put them in there next turn. Or maybe I'll, I'll take them with this. Can't leave that undefended. Okay, it's fine. Alright, and... Let's see. I don't think we need this guy here. General. Trying to save money. Can't get these guys off this island. These combat attendees are costing 256. Get rid of them. About an extra 100 gold by increasing the taxes there. It'd be better for us to lower the taxes and disband this unit. We've only got one ship and it's all the way over here. Like, what the fuck am I going to do with that? Oh, you know what? We might be able to get this guy. Yeah, it's it's gonna die. Piracy is a big problem in Rome Total War. That if you're gonna have a fleet, you need to have a really proper fleet. And we don't have that. Okay, so we can't get them off Corallus either. And we can't build the goddamn port to make some actual cash out of here. So that's a big problem. Get rid of this. And this. These guys here will have to maintain public order. Can't disband them. Move, sir. We might end up losing that settlement. Can't do much about it. Okay, so agents like this, they they cost 200 in upkeep, and I don't need it. So what we'll do is we'll bring it over here and try to get him to assassinate her if we can. Uh, and if he dies, well, if he, if he dies, great. If he doesn't die, also great. Okay, that's fine because, like I said, that's just money we'd have to pay for anymore. So looking at things, it was we started off with minus two thousand two hundred, and now we got it at three hundred forty. So if you just press end turn about a thousand times, we can get out of debt, but we can't do that. We need we need more than that. I think I've done everything that I can for the turn. They'll sally out there, then we make our way for mid to Mediolanium, exterminating. That city should be worth a fair bit. It won't get us a hundred thousand, but Let's see here we go. All right, so yeah, I was right. There's a general in here. Now the big downside to doing it this way is that we don't get his morale buffs, so I have to be very careful. That's kind here. of funny because, like, when I first Send started doing fight. saving your disaster campaigns, nobody was sending Warhammer content, Warhammer save files. So I was just getting none. You know, people were, were asking, "Where's the Warhammer ones?" I'm just like, I wasn't getting any. I don't make these save files myself. Um, people, people have to send them in. And now it's like nothing but Warhammer. And don't get me wrong, I don't mind. I, I enjoy the Warhammer ones. Command. 
like I said, the main reason why I've picked this one uh, was because we just haven't done a historical one in a while. And we haven't done any historical live streams in a while. Alright, we gotta come up with a plan. Let's see. Um. Alright, um, just trying to think. He'll be able to outrun this guy. And if he dies, we're in big pro big big trouble. Right, they're just charging right for us. General. So he'd probably have 40 sorry, excuse me, 49 men in that, and I've got 38 here. Don't think these archers are gonna do a whole lot. Great if they could get a volley in, but they don't. Oh god, the fucking morale's a big problem. <sighs> fucking hell, they, the infantry are just so useless. This we're eating his ass there. The problem is, this guy here is the general. If he dies, we're fucked. But we're eating him pretty well. Where's our general? Just... He's, he's doing alright. Funny enough that the uh, the archers are actually holding out pretty well there. Hmm, we might have this after all. Nice, the whole unit's gone. Good. The enemy general is dead. Now we've just got His those four What are they doing? Approaches. Yeah, we can't just go charging in there. We're going to have to. These guys are going to have to be our anvil, which is a bit of a problem. Yeah, he should be reasonably tired, so we could skirmish him, but. Just don't know if we're gonna really do any damage. Particularly. Ah, there we go. The enemy show their true virtue. Well the battle's won, we don't have to run them down. Good. Now we can exterminate Britannia and I don't know what we're gonna do with this army. So, exterminating them this isn't bad. Cool. That managed to pay off a small portion of our debt but they're not going to be able to leave this area. General. Onward. 70%, it's not going to revolt here. Not yet anyway. This guy here is a pagan. For, well. This certainly makes a lot more money than the other settlement, so... And it does have a port, so... That's, that's something. Just hold on to it as long as we can, I guess. Alright, over here now. General! 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 Engage the enemy! Didn't seem like it was possible for me to do that. That that guy there is going to be a problem for us. Maybe I should bring in reinforcements. General. Forward. Yeah, like who fucking cares about Arthas? Imperator. Forward. Out of move, sir. Who shall die this day? Can't do it, sir. Twenty five percent chance. Will end. Yeah, assassinating him would be good, but uh, it's 30% chance now. Yeah, we'll give it a shot on As assassinating him before we besiege the settlement. Alright. Imperator! Imperator! 
forward. Okay, we could just lay siege normally Engage here. The enemy. Besieging settlement, sir. Settlement under siege, sir. Imperator. Alright, so thinking about public order in these settlements, we'd have to lower the public order here right now. How much is the tax rate increase worth? It's worth a little bit. Because otherwise we could take the Fodorati cab out. Imperator. Onward. Yeah, that's fine. I'd prefer peasants stay there, much cheaper upkeep, but I can't recruit peasants just yet. Alright, financially per turn at the moment, making 1,000 a turn. So that's... it's alright. It's not great. It's alright. We don't have any armies, like, hanging around here, do we? I didn't think to check if there was, like, armies in really weird places. Sometimes you get that with these kind of disasters. It's like sitting in the middle of nowhere. Having a wank in the forest. Okay, we can increase the tax rate here. Oh, I was supposed to leave those peasants behind, but whatever, it's fine. I think I've done everything I can. I can't put any troops into here. If they capture it, whatever. It's just... <laughs> I could demolish the stuff, but... We'll... Scorched Earth is really just for settlements that you're not going to come back to anytime soon. Thing is, if that revolts... Hang on, I have an idea. If you come... If you come back here, we can alternate between settlements, right? Oh. 60%. No. It, it, look, it might just riot. It might revolt. Hard to say. Shit. Alright, this is definitely going to riot. Oh, well, it's worth a shot to check. Don't put him in there because... He could get killed. Don't want that. Dinium and Arliss. Yeah, I can't, I can't do anything about Arliss except for change the capital. Which at the moment, Rome does seem like the ideal capital. Imperator. Right, well, losing that settlement's, you know, that's one thing, but if we could maintain public order here. At least it does make some cash. Orders. Engage the enemy. Now I don't want to spend half an hour getting in into that settlement. Order resolve should actually work just fine. Yeah, we probably wouldn't have taken less cash this and that. Victory! Rome oh, has damn, I was hoping there'd be more people here. Must have been exterminated recently. There wasn't much. Now well, we've got the city, but we're still in the financial shit, and that's Sir. the problem. Engage the enemy. Yeah. Just send the generals to take them out. So where do we go next? I could go east towards Constantinople, but taking on the Eastern Roman Empire could be very difficult with an army that can't now, replenish its numbers. If you want to take on the east, you're going to need, need some serious firepower, which we don't have. Salona's a large city. Take us a while to get there, though. 
That's a rebel settlement, so that can be act as a buffer. We've got a few settlements up this way. So what's it gonna be? Don't worry about Iberia right now. Take too long to get there. But then again, there's some good settlements here. And exterminating that would be good. I'm taking my entire force. What happens if a Byzantine invasion force comes over here? I won't be able to repel it. Sir! Just a regular city. And if we get over here, we could retake Arlis. So looking at our actual income, we're making about... Making about 2,000 a turn off our taxes. So it would take 50 turns to run out of cash here. We've got an opportunity for a draw out. That could work for us. Could work. Sir! March! Out of move, sir! General! Yes. Can't bribe him. General! Just thinking. What I could do as well is just besiege the settlement with one unit and take out these peasants. Because we don't know what these units are. They're probably just peasants as well. I think that's what I do. That's the safest General. option. Is it? No, no, it's not. It's not the safest General. option. No, I think I can handle this. Because here's what we do. Don't worry about the answer. It's not all peasants. Here's what we do. We target him first. So let's get an idea of where he's going to show up on the map. Alright. He's going to be showing up from the... From the eastern part of the map. If we intercept him and kill him... It's 49 men versus 49. Yeah. With this, we, sh we might be able to do that. It's tricky though, because this could fail. But, you know, you, you you gotta take risks in a seven-year disaster campaign. You can't just be like, well... The day has this is an easy battle, but, so therefore I can't fight. I don't know, I'm gonna have to fight hard ones. Alright, so, they're coming out from over here. There he is. The enemy have brought up reinforcements Oops. in a pathetic attempt to save themselves. So yeah, the most difficult unit for us to deal with is definitely going to be this guy here. And of course, he's he's no special general either. So I don't expect these guys to fight to the death. I'm trying to pinch him from two sides. Actually, you stay over there. Get this guy to recharge him. Looks like the Fodorati infantry might be trying to target you. Actually, what's your morale? Go. I'm gonna get you to charge in here, he's gonna do the rear charge. Let's go. It. Chase after me, you little shit. They're holding on, good to see. The gods have... There we go. Let's be praised! The enemy general is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Okay, we need to... We need to all sandwich this motherfucker. Break them. The enemy showed Took a lot of damage on that unit, though. They are not but that's soldiers. probably the most difficult Only one we have to deal with. Running from our sort of. men. All right, the garrison forces have been wiped out. Now we just need to deal with this. Now it is mostly just peasants, but it's just the sheer numbers we have to worry about. Now let's try to redirect back to the, the center. One thing that'll really help us out is if they chase us and get exhausted. Even if we get exhausted in the process as well. So I'm 
sending him over there just to get a bit of a, a bit of a rest. Them running around like this is going to make it very easy for us to break them. We, we may not even need to kill their general. Good. This is a good start so far. I hope there's lots of people in there that we can exterminate. Because that's what the money's based off. Should be easy to take out as well. He's isolated. So he's also quite tired. This is looking pretty good. They've made a huge mistake by getting themselves all exhausted. We're still in good shape. Getting this whole blob here to route, that's going to be tricky. I was hit them in the weak spot, peasants. Another downside to doing this is of course that I've reduced the number of weak spots that they've got. This here, killing him would also be good. Cavalry are losing in melee against the peasants. Fucking cowards. Shouldn't be fighting in the forest. Not a good place to be fighting. No, 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 no. Get out of the forest. Now, it's important that we run these guys down so they don't get back to the the uh, enemy town. Looks like they're splitting their forces up, which is fine. We'll catch up later. These guys here need a little bit of a rest. Take the 
Percentage wise at the moment we killed 71%. Well, we pretty much got 100% on the first army, so we need to get a little bit more than 85% in order to guarantee that we're going to get the settlement. All right, let him have a bit of a rest now. Looks like that's what they're doing as well. Utilizing him to just come around here might keep them moving. The more we can keep them moving, they're not they're not recovering their fatigue. He's pretty isolated right now. Let's see if we can snipe him. In the open here, we should be able to get a decent charge. Actually, wait for the general to come by. You charge him there and just instantly break. True virtue. They are not soldiers, only frightened rabbits running from our men. Good, we get the city. Didn't think I'd get it this turn, so that, that worked out nicely. The enemy. That worked out very well. Victory! General, prepare for battle. Victory! Okay, I was hoping for more than that. But we got the city. Could barely maintain it though. Why is that? Faction leaders. Yeah. A lot of distance to capital. And rest, yeah. Squalor. I mean, I just got rid of a lot of the squalor. Not many buildings here. It looks like it might have been just damaged before we, before we, um, earlier on in the campaign. Okay, we've got a... Oh, this is a large city over here. Get right over there next. But here's the problem now. Maintaining public order. The... Just can't do it. Well, we've got it down to 80,000. So we're ma making about 4,000 a turn now. That's alright. So what are we going to do? Oh, we can also send someone up there. Help us maintain public order. Good, and keep those taxes as it is. Alright. Can't keep everyone here. We have to make a deci decision on where we're going. What happened to the rest of the Eastern Roman Empire forces? Where the fuck did they go? Hmm. Assassin ready. Oh, I was gonna do that thing. Oh, well. As you command. On my way. Out of mood, sir. I have no Both idea what's there, sir. but it's, it just says it's one unit. I think I'll keep them in separate units, not don't merge them. I mean if we were to take Iberia, that would be that would be enough to get us out of out of the shit, I think. Sir! Forward! Let's get these guys out of here. What are we gonna leave behind though? Orders. Let's merge. Maybe leave behind the Fodorati infantry. Probably don't need them. Yeah, leave it just leave it on low taxes. Sir. Legend, why aren't you repairing any buildings? <laughs> Bit of a meme on my live streams. Alright, so uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to handle, handle this. It's probably mostly peasants anyway. Yeah. I think what this guy did before he lost his regions, he demolished all the buildings, which is why there's so many peasants everywhere. So he used scorched earth tactics on his own territory.
not not a uh, not a pro strategy that. Okay, so everything's looking good. So yeah, at this rate here, it'll take about 40 turns to get out of debt. But we just if we can increase the income a bit further, go, maybe if this guy here can just sit there, he'll maintain public order. Or maybe if we let it. Let's get these guys over there now. Sure, it's gonna riot. Well, yeah. Actually, it's best it's best that doesn't happen because if it damages this, I can't repair it. All right, I think I've done everything I can. I don't know what to, what I can do with these guys. I could probably just disband some of the expensive units, but it's probably not costing us much now anyway. So just leave it be. Moving on. Good. Maybe we can we can get someone over to our list to stop it from. Actually, no. It's it's fine now. Even though the sewers were damaged. Right. So financially, at the moment, so we're we're making three thousand a turn. Not great. Okay. Let's see if. Stand there and you come in here. Wow. That, he majorly helps with public order. Imperator. Assassin ready. On my way. He's dead, as you command. On my way. He's dead. Oh, nice. But here's the problem. Sir! How the fuck am I going to get in there? Imperator! All I can do is starve them out. I don't have any infantry. I can't get any infantry. Well, unless I had money. I have an idea. If we besiege, besiege a settlement next turn. So I'm just besieging it like this now to stop it from revolting. What happens when it revolts? Does it just go to rebel? Doesn't, doesn't matter. We get him to besiege and maybe this guy will consider himself stronger than this. Maybe. Hard to say. Maybe I should have left the guy in there, but that would have made it a lot Imperator. more difficult to fight. Now, if that's... It's majority peasants. Just thinking how best to handle this. Alright, send... Imperator. Send these guys over here, just for Imperator. now. I'm just going to besiege it with these two guys here. That's all. Alright. They might sally out. If they sally out, great. If they don't, we'll move them around over here next turn. And these guys will take this position. I'll move one of them around here. Because assaulting this would be time consuming. That's what's my main concern. Uh, as for him, Sir. General, forward. Mm. Red Vanna's public order will be okay, Imperial. but I want him to help us maintain public order across here. Onward. So have him catch up. No Alright, we good? We seem to be good. Looks like the plague here is over, so we can actually increase taxes. So financially, we'll make close to 4,000 this turn, but yeah, we'll see. Moving on. Alright, we'll head back. Can't let the Eastern Roman Empire capture the settlement. Orders. So they haven't built anything yet. Like, he could attack it, but the best we Onward. use... Now our our uh, emperor is old because he's he's the emperor. So this if he does die battle. in battle, it doesn't Why matter that much. But I'll see what we can do. Don't want him to die. Your reinforcements have arrived. 
This is hopeful news in He doesn't have any experience, but with 97 bodyguard. Let's try to take out the enemy cavalry first. See if they'd be willing to engage us. What's this unit here? Eastern archers. I can get you to just activate their skirmish mode. He's over there, so he's he's pretty safe. Biggest problem here is going to be morale. If he gets overwhelmed. He's ripping them to shreds. Just got to make sure we don't lose too much morale there. So his general's going to die first. General is killed. It hurt though, it hurt Fear to do that. Home in our enemy's hearts. Alright, that's the worst of it over, I think. Without their cavalry and, and their archers, we've cut off their arms and legs. Now we just need to cut out their lungs, make them exhausted. Okay, their cavalry's come back, but they're not going to be of any rules right now. Stay close to this guy to lower their morale. Now, it doesn't matter how many casualties the general's bodyguard takes, but the Fodorati cavalry cannot be replaced. Their army's wiped out. Our enemies are victorious. <laughs> oh my god, the battle wasn't over yet. Efforts. Shit. Oh, I thought the battle was over. Oh god. Pull back. How to win and lose at the same time. General. I mean, most of their army's dead. It's. What are you going to do? I thought the battle was over. Yeah, laugh it up. Laugh it up. I've made that mistake before. I'll probably make it again. Alright, moving on. Wait. Sir. Yeah, they didn't, they didn't besiege the settlement here. Sir. Orders, General. Let's see, we get them around over this side. Splitting the troops. Move out. Orders. And you can just maintain the siege there. Okay. Then we need to get Sir, the one with the general. weakest unit. Forward. Over to here. Let him besiege. The enemy. Besieging settlement, sir. You lift the siege, under siege sir. and we'll attach Imperator. these guys. Engage the enemy, sir. Oh, it's embarrassing what that happens. Luckily, 
Luckily, the end result of me doing that is not really that bad, because it did a little bit of extra damage to the Foderati Cav, did a little bit of extra damage to the Foderati Infantry, but their army is still fucked. And he, he's going to be fine. Like, it was stupid, but, you know, I made the mistake. Whatever. Live with it. Not the end of the world. Such a silly mistake, though. If we can get some cash out of this, that would be great. I'll try for 10 grand. We'll, we'll never get any other agreements. Okay. I'm willing to accept this if they help us pay off our debts. We will just betray them right away. So, if we could get... 20 grand out of them, I'll accept this. Don't know how much money. They probably wouldn't have this much money. No tributes. Alright, we'll go 15,000. If you can't pay 15,000, then no deal. Alright. And looky here. Take him out first. Orders. If I take the whole army, they might not Imperial. stand and fight. We'll, just, we'll just send the cavalry. That's all we need. Splitting the troops. March. Merging armies. Engage the enemy. You know the funny thing is, is that the AI is prone to doing this exact same thing to you as well. So whatever. The day has dawned. Grim. Funny thing is, we're going to get the settlement on the same term anyway. Alright, so, the enemy reinforcements are coming in from the north. We need to take him out first. The, fairy man will be busy today. the Western Roman Empire will not become a subject to rebels. But I'll say what I need to to get us out of this disaster. General is dead. His men All right, if we can try to just utilize the two generals' bodyguard, that would be ideal because obviously they can replenish and the Foderati cavalry cannot. We're about halfway through paying off the debts, and of course, as we continue to get more settlements, the debt will get easier to, to pay off. Having these guys stand up here can be good because they'll, they don't know which, which way we're going to attack from. The enemy general is slain. Oh, I thought that might have been my go for a second there, but that, that's it time great. To press the attack. I think roles reversed. Our peasants would have would have lasted even a second against General's bodyguard with the with our general dead. Right. I want to try and get a big pincer going on through here. Get these guys gone. guys to come up the rear here because those limitani might not break. If 
they try to withdraw. Don't let them get away, or else we don't get the city. You're, you're safe. Send the other general around the back here. Charge down the hill. Gotta make sure these guys don't get away. Ah, that's it. Now, the guys are exhausted now. Actually, you keep running. No, 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 no. Gotta get to 85%. How close are we? The That's enemy army is in flight. Pursue them. Not even and close. Drive them from the battlefield. I think we'll get there, though. Don't don't let any of them escape. Obviously, some of them are going to, but we won't end this battle prematurely. I've already done one premature evacuation. Victory from her generals. Be another. All right, cool. Taking, taking Vasilia back, exterminate them, Victory! and we're down to half of our debt. Rome has conquered. So they they back off anyway. That's good enough. Like I said, even though even though I made a silly mistake, we saved the city. We need someone to maintain the public order here. Better one of the infantry do I need the cavalry to come with me. They're far more useful to me. Public order's good. Alright, so financially, we're making about six grand a turn now. We'll be... We could just press end turn a couple of times and get out of debt. Alright, you... Get to it again. Do they have another unit there now? Nope. There's rebels here. Probably best we just go around them. By going down this way. So next... Hang on. Are we taking any of these guys? No. Uh, next stop will be Taraco, which is a minor city. Imperator! You stay here and just defend Italy. We good? Very good. Moving on. Whatever. Nice. It's just peasants. Wasn't a hundred percent sure if they were going to come out, but they did. So this is another large city. Hopefully there's actually some decent population here, I didn't actually check. But even if there isn't, our actual income is increasing enough now that we might actually be able to keep it under control. Did a bit of damage, nothing major. You'd expect more considering it's just peasants, but 
It's fine. Oh, nice. We are almost out of death. Imperator, forward. Okay, these guys can't move any further now. At least the province is making money, but we, we just can't maintain proper quarter if we leave. 70% is still under control. Imperator. It's not worth sending anyone back there. Stretch too thin now. Imperator. March. Engage the enemy. What the fuck are the Berbers doing here? Mm, that that's a bit of a problem. A lot of cavalry in that. Okay, so look at th things financially. We'll be out of debt in three turns, regardless of what we do. If we don't have to capture any more settlements. Oh yeah, Saxons over here. Are we going to be able to repel that? Maybe. Maybe. Alright, moving on. Orders. Too many of them blocking the way. Like, we could beat this army here, but... What's the point? The other option is to go around this way. It'd be pretty costly to beat that. And we're not under any pressure for time. So... It's still very early in the campaign. What turn is it? Oh, it's actually not. It's like turn 50. It's 388 AD. What, what year does it start in? Like 370 something. Um... Oh, we've got an ally. That's weird. Assassinate ally. No wonder the Eastern Roman Empire declared war on you. It's like saying, the Eastern Roman Empire is the one that declared war on me. But yeah, because you allied with assassin. Look, they're going to do it anyway. So, um, it's it's not your fault. It's alright. Um. Yeah, I, I just don't see the value in, in doing that. We'll go around. Alright, so financially, yeah, 7,000 a turn. We'll be out of debt in two turns. Doesn't seem like any of these settlements are going to revolt. What we have to do is just hold on to them just for a little bit longer. Then we can actually start repairing buildings. Hmm. How long until that starves out? Six turns. Because I, I could probably beat that. But I'd prefer to wait for them to actually assault. Sir, march out of move, sir. So, almost out of debt. Moving go. Okay, this this is manageable. It's just mostly peasants manage this. And since our generals got three stars, our infantry are actually going to be useful. If they have to hold the line, they should be able to hold the line. Although, they might something. get shit to their pants at the numbers. Sometimes numbers can be a big problem to deal with. Alright. We're going to have to keep the cavalry together, because the cavalry might still be chicken shit. Where's their general? Okay. So if I can kill that guy there, these guys... Alright, I'm just going to go punch right through the center. I'm going to punch right through the center, try to push our way to him. It might work, but it might not. Fodorati infantry, come with the tizzies. I'd rather punch through... I'd rather punch through the Batani. Jesus Christ. I 
Uh, where, where'd their general go? He's over here. Alright, this isn't really working as planned, but at least we've punched through their center. Sort of. And in doing so, they can't just form a proper line against us. Gotta to get to the enemy general. He's only fought a righty cavalry. I don't think he'd be deliberately trying to avoid us. No point running back, hold your ground. The enemy general is oh, chicken running shit. away. This is no way for a leader to behave, but in battle, it's beyond belief. Tensi here, need to recharge them. Our common tensies will lose to theirs because. Uh, actually, no. Got this. Run them down. I'm gonna get them over here. Stuff. Okay. Battle's going well now. Shit, forgot about him. There's another reason why it's sometimes good to keep you guys together, because if you split them up, you can forget about them. Keep your eye on them. Because if they get caught into a shit situation like that, luckily he didn't lose that many men. I'm running them down. But he still lost more than a little life. Now, of course, we're not going to let them get away. We need to get to 85% so that we're they're wiped out. So the way is cleared to Tarako. Their best units have been beaten, so the rest of this should be pretty easy. There we go. They can... Okay, just don't exit the battle early, okay? That's that's my big mistake. Because, like, in, in Warhammer, which is the game we've been playing so much lately, when this is when you've hit this point here, it's the end of the battle. But in Rome Total War, you have to wait until they're all off the uh, they'll route. Again, this is sometimes a problem when you play a lot of one Total War game. You can forget how to play other Total War games. But, you know, always needs a good reminder every now and again. The gods be praised! Oh. Victory! Right. Imperator! Almost out of debt. Engage the enemy! Besieging settlement, sir! Settlement under siege, sir! Looking good. Alright, at least I got some equipment there now. 
Oh, oh shit. Well. Slap my ass. And it's just shit. Goths have come for dinner. Um, I mean, we could... Hang on, what have we got here? Now, oh, the Visigoths have come to sack Rome early. Sorry, we'll be out of debt next turn so I can start recruiting. This guy here can besiege Mediolanium, but I can't... He won't besiege Ravenna. He's 72 years old. Can't build forts or anything, because we're just... Oh, hang on, hang on. One thing that we could probably do, if we just demolish some buildings, I can get some troops. What do we not need? You know what? Fuck it. If we end up losing Mediolanium, it's not worth shit anyway right now. Uh, we'll just get it back. Like I said, we'll be out of debt next turn. Regardless of whatever the hell they do. And then we can start recruiting from Ravenna. And Ravenna's got good troops available. Sarmatian Auxilia, that's what you want. I'm willing to accept this for another 10 grand payment. Of course, I'm just going to straight up betray them again. I, no, 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 no. Okay, look, how about 8,000? That'll pay off the rest of our debt, but I'm going to capture their settlement, so no. They clearly don't have any money left. I mean what I said, I'm going to capture that settlement. I'm going to start with them. They're going to be coming in from the south. They're not going to be properly protected. Let's do this. And then once we've, once we've wiped out those two guys, it doesn't matter if we don't wipe out the other army. Then we just have to win. Also, with the Goths might not be at war with us. So, nice road here. Letting us know exactly where they're going to show up from. Right there. have brought up reinforcements Oops. in a pathetic uh -huh. attempt to save themselves. It's not where they're going to show up from. Okay, they got their faction leader or heir here. Hard to tell sometimes, because that's our heir. He's got just as many men. Standing right there, if we charge in on him, he'll be the first one off the battlefield. So we gotta try and get around him. Go, you get in there, and we'll... Okay, they just wanna dogpile it on, it's fine. General is dead! His men know their doom approaches! Good, dead to the last man. Took a lot of damage, but that's to be expected. Those were really good units. Alright, now for this army here. They do have some decent units, nothing particularly special. I don't want to be fighting on the edge of the map, because it would be good for us to wipe them out. them to hold the line as long as they can. Meanwhile, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to him. The enemy 
General Fleas. Press forward so the slippery bastards. Too. Oh, we got him. I mean, we didn't get him, but he's he's gone. They got some action. Right, so do Thanks to our high morale, because the I should say high command, our, our guys will hold. Now, obviously, if I had taken my time with this battle and on one time speed forward, we could have done a lot better. But thing to consider is that I'm often I need to get these these SYZs done in a reasonable time frame. I don't want to spend you know, five episodes on them, so that's why sometimes I, I rush. Because I don't need to do it perfect. We just need to get it out of the ship. I'm not trying to be perfect. Oh. And we've got it out of the ship. There we go, out of debt. 15,000. Writing an hour of this. Oh, it's okay though. So, okay, so they're just neutral. They're, they are probably going to attack here. I wonder if it's even worth bothering to repair all this stuff. I mean, if they're just going to possibly plunder it. If we have a look at our finances, we're making about nine grand a turn. Probably should have accepted a peace treaty where we, where we could have with them. Killer waiting for orders. On my way. Uh -huh. No more moves. A lot of pagan settlements. But yeah, this is disaster averted. Now we can afford to actually recruit some troops. Um, he's still got a tough road ahead, but I'm not going to do all the bloody work for him. But, uh, yeah, with, with money coming in, he can now recruit some more soldiers and build up his provinces, fix up the public order. I think this is in... this is much better. I mean, I could keep going. I could keep, you know, smashing this. But like, it's, like I've said so many times, my job is not here to win the campaign for you. My job is here to save you from defeat. Defeat has been averted. You do the rest. That's the end of this one, and I'll see you in the next disaster. Fuckers.